Do 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 do. Oh yeah, it's party time. Party time in Hungry Nuts's house. Little house. Hi there. How are you doing? It's Murdo Hungry Nuts. It's Sunday. Sunday morning. Right. Do you like my onesie? Remember to tell you. Look at that. What am I like? Uh, what a t- <laughs> I like it. It's nice and cosy. My snooty, my snooty. Right, how are you doing? It's Hungry Nuts here. Thanks for coming into my channel. It means a lot to me. Yes, it's Sunday. Sunday. I'm lisping. My teeth. I just put my teeth back in. Got my lights on. See them? I am celebrating my birthday. Yes, my birthday is tomorrow, Monday, 27th of November. I was born in 1965. Which means I am 58 year old. David's here, he's upstairs, he's making up the bed, he sleeps in the spare bedroom. So um, I'll go outside, I'll show you what it's like outside. It's absolutely freezing! Ice on the ground, look. Yes, this is my house. My house, see it? My little home. Do you like my bunting? Happy birthday. Put that up, put that up to treat myself. I says to David, he came up yesterday, I says, go and get us some bunt and we happy birthday on it. I'm going to put it up on the front door. What a sad way. <laughs> Bend things for my birthday for myself. So I put it up. So I'll stay up the day, because my birthday's tomorrow. But I put it up yesterday. What else have I got up? Oh, he got me a birthday card. David got me a birthday card. I put it up. I'll show you. Don't think you see it. See it. Not that keen on the boy. It's not my cup of tea, that guy. He's a bit, a bit of an Australian sort of beach guy, is he? I do like the dog, though. I do like the dog. So I've put that up just outside. You know what I like? Crazy. So this is my home, and uh, straight across the road, that's the view from my home. Big field. It's my house. My home. My garden. Little garden. Got my thing up there. Skittles is in the back garden. We're in the back. Side gate, and right at the back is my back garden. We my rainbow flag and everything up on the fence. Don't let you see that next door. Yeah, right, what am I up to? Um, my front garden. See it? I went out this morning. It must have been about 7 o'clock this morning. And uh, what happened was... What exactly happened was, I was feeding the crows. I was feeding the crows. And, uh, yeah. That was quite good. I've got this crow that keeps coming in the garden. He's called, well, we call him Mortimer. <laughs> we call him Mortimer. And I was feeding them bread. A crow. And they're quite cool. They're quite easy to train. They get to know you, crows. Because any time I go out with Skittles, my rescue staff, eh, he follows us on the field, Mortimer. That's what we call him. It was David's idea to start feeding them. And we've been feeding them for about... Must be about 15 years. And we know that it's Mortimer because of the marks. He's got marks on him, you know, white marks. And he's been bringing his family of crows into the garden, you know. They're quite intelligent birds. So I thought, I'll go in my front garden that I just showed you. And I was feeding them this morning. And there's this guy that goes past every morning, a guy. He wears a high-vis jacket. And he always stands at the next-door neighbour's gate early in the morning for some reason. He knew my old neighbour I never got on with. And he seems to stand at the gate all the time. But he was walking down on the road on the other side, you know, beside the field that I just showed you. And he waited with his wee dogs. He's got wee dogs, you know. And he waited till I went in the house. You know what he'd done? He walked over the road, I, was, I went in and I just happened to stare out my window to make sure the crows were getting fed, you know, when, as soon as I fed them. He never saw me. He walked over to my gate and he started swiping his hands about at the crows where they were eating and just about my garden. Now, um, I was raging, I was really angry. I ran outside and I went, oh, you're... And I swore, I went, oh, you're fucking brave, you know, picking on crows you got nothing better to do with your time. He never said anything. He couldn't have waited to shoot off in the road with his wee dogs. He's got these wee 
dogs, you know, I thought. And um, I was raging, I was really angry. I thought, nothing better to do with your time than pick on crows in my garden when I'm feeding them. See, he knew I was in a good mood. We, he seen the happy birthday thing up and everything. And he deliberately come over to me again, I caught him. But we me catching on me, scuttered away, you know. And I thought, you prick, you know. Imagine doing that, eh? Imagine doing that. Nothing better to do with your time than pick on birds. So I was angry. But, um... Imagine, okay, I mean, it's, it's a really annoying. Imagine, okay, I mean, I didn't, I didn't understand people's mentality at times. I thought it was a bit stupid, but for a guy, and the thing is, he's probably about 65, you know, a little guy. Uh, I, I wouldn't even call him a guy, you know, and he minced off down the road. I shouldn't have said that, but he did. He minced off down the road with his wee doggies. So if he's watching this video, you know, because he's seen my t shirt, Hungry Nuts, if he's watching this video, do you know what? You're, and I'm going to swear here, you're a fucking prick. You're a fucking prick. You're that brave. You pick on wee birds it's in the garden getting fed. You're a dick, mate. Total dick. So, uh, I was angry, but I thought to myself, my birthday's tomorrow, and it's not worthwhile. You know, it's not worthwhile fighting me someday. But you ran away. You ran away. You wasn't that brave. I says, oh, you're so brave, you know. Okay. And I laughed. I laughed, which probably made him feel even smaller than what he is. So, if he is watching this video video, I'm going to say, once again, you're a prick. <laughs> so that's that. It just annoys me, you know. So um, that was that. Right, I'm having a beer. I'm having a beer. This old queer, who's 58 year old tomorrow. Do you want to know what I got for my birthday after that? You got me a massive, massive bottle of my favourite aftershave. You bought me this a while back. Obsession. Now, I wasn't very keen on Calvin Klein Obsession. I didn't find it very nice. It used to be, but it's not so good as what it is. But he bought me that a while back, just as a gift. That was a while back, wait. That wasn't for my birthday, that was a few months ago he got me that. I've yes missed what? 100 mil bottle of that. Quite expensive. Calvin Klein for men. Uh, obsession. I treated myself the other week to Paul Smith, remember? I like Paul Smith. My dad bought me a wee bottle of it. And I got myself a bottle, 100 mils, got that. Paul Smith men, I like that. But this is what David got me for my birthday, and I'm a chuff with it, and I wear it quite a bit. But I didn't, I had run out of it, and he got me Jupe, you know, Jupe, Jupe Home. And it's a massive big box, it's 200 mils, 200 mil bottle. Massive, massive big bottle. So I'm at with that. So I've got my, you know, my Calvin Klein, it's almost finished, Obsession. I've got my Paul Smith, which I've just started wearing. And I squirted a wee bit of dupe on the day. And it smells really nice. So I was at with that, especially a big bottle like that. So that was good, wasn't it? Right, David's going to watch the shops to get us some beer. We were drinking yesterday. Uh, it's too cold to go out. We're going to have another beer a day and watch uh, Netflix and chill out. Listen. Thank you all for coming to the Hungry Nuts channel, it means a lot. Thank you if you're subscribed, it means a lot. I'm whispering with my teeth. This old gay boy, when I say gay, well, I think I'm bisexual. I have had sex with females, but I think I'm bisexual. But um, that was years ago. And you don't want to know all that about me. But um, well, maybe you do. Maybe that's why you come in to listen to me with my madness and my channel. I'm in a good mood. Guy tried to upset us a day with the crows in the garden, you know, when I was feeding them, but it didn't happen. But, uh, yeah, it's sad at people, I like that, yeah. Right, I'll get going. I'm going to chill out. Thank you once again for looking at the Hungry Nuts channel, we said. Thank you for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm away to chill out with David. David's making up the bed. He sleeps in the spare bedroom. No, we don't sleep together. We haven't slept together for years. Um, we're just good pals. Even though he's my partner, we're just good pals. David's got his own house, he comes up and looks after me. As you know, because I'm bothered with depression and bipolar and everything. And David's got his in problems with being ex army, Gulf War veteran, you know. David's got post traumatic stress disorder and all that. But yeah, we've been together for near enough 30 years. We've been together for almost 30 years, and David's all I've got. You know, I don't have any family or that. So he looks after me. Right, I'll get going. What am I like? Tigger. <laughs> Jigger. Right, I'll get going.
I have said a lot, haven't I, as usual. Gibber, gibber, gibber. Have a super Sunday. Take care. I'll see you all very, very soon. I think that's it for now. I think that's it for now. I'll get going. Need my lights and everything on. And... <laughs> right, I'll get going. See you later. Take care. Bye for now. Love from Mordo. Hungry nuts. My teeth are falling out. False teeth. I need to get fixed them. I need them sorted. They're starting to slack off a bit. I'm lisping. I'm lisping. Right, bye. Take care. Love yous. Have a nice Sunday. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Mwah.